uh, Muhammad Aslam Naveed. Uh, uh, good afternoon, everybody. This is Muhammad Aslam Naveed. I am a student of Data GAN, uh, batch seventy nine. Uh, I got a uh, I got a present. Uh, I got an assignment from the uh, uh, from Ranjan Sar to present uh, on a hot topic called data quality. Uh, which is one of the uh, core and important uh, topic which uh, I will be covering uh, in this presentation. Uh, <clears throat> so the topics which we'll be covering today is what is data and its type and what is the data quality, importance of data quality, dimensions of data quality, data quality stakeholders and conclusion. So first, I will be discussing about what is data. Uh, data is everything and everywhere. Data is backbone of any business. And it is also a set of characters that is gathered and translated for some purpose. Usually analysis, most of the time data will be collected for analysis. And also some data can be used uh, for multiple times by multiple users and mul for multiple projects. And also, uh, we have to maintain a data properly and accurately to save the time and money for uh, analysis of the data. Usually, data is divided into three types. One is structured data, which is quantitative uh, data, quantitative data like name, address, and mobile number will be uh, covered in this uh, particular type, structured data, which is uh, more often it is structured and labeled and with the proper rows and columns uh, with the preset parameters. And then we have a semi-structured data. In the semi-structured data, uh, usually it is XML, email, uh, and HTML. It's a loosely organized and uh, data, which is uh, from the tweets, and the folders and then we will have a unstructured data where uh, uh, where the data is uh, stored in the form of video and voice data so usually uh, this data is very important for any organization uh, uh, to analyze and assess the uh, business requirements and then uh, then i will be covering then uh, what is data quality so data quality usually it is often defined as a fitness for use and uh, <clears throat> like data is fit for uh, any uh, particular project, like data quality is a measurement, uh, uh, like how uh, fit a data is to, uh, to define the specific need of an organization. Uh, high data quality is required for taking a trusted decisions. Data is generally considered high quality if it is fit for intended use in the operations and the decision making and planning. I will give you a simple example for the data quality. It's like if we, uh, uh, if somebody is cooking a particular dish and the ingredient of that particular dish is not of a quality, then the final result, the dish will not be tasty. And it is not, uh, uh, the, uh, the dish will not be tasty because the ingredients was not good. So in the same way, if you have to do an analysis, so your, the quality of the data matters a lot. Uh, so if the quality of the data is good, then the, the decisions which an organization ha will take, it will, uh, it will be taken correctly. Uh, usually, uh, one of the, uh, uh, one of the uh, investigation agency, which is PwC, Prize uh, Waterhouse Cooper International Limited, has discovered that 75% of companies suffered significant bottom line impact because of the poor data quality. If you don't have a good data quality, 75% of companies have suffered a significant bottom line because they have taken a wrong decisions. Uh, because of that, they have failed. So, and then that's why data quality is required. Data quality is required to maintaining a quality data. Good data will lead the decision makers to take right decisions at right time. Bad data will lead the decision maker to take wrong decisions, which will impact uh, the business and reputations of an organization. Cost of bad data is worse than organization uh, than organization realize. It is the cost will be 10x more to com to complete a unit task and when working with play flaw data and then working with perfect data. 
So the good data is very much uh, essential for any organization uh, to take a decision. And also a bad data will impact uh, a bad data will impact the organizational uh, uh, organization's uh, decisions. Let's say, for example, you are a marketer and you are crafting a campaign to promote a bad. Uh, I'm giving you the example of a good day, a good data quality. If you are crafting a campaign to promote a, a brand of organic uh, food and you want to determine the best time of day to run online ads to promote the brand's web, web store. To figure this out, you can collect data from brand's website about when people typically purchase the organic food. Here, how you can ensure your data is high quality. Usually you can uh, assess with uh, <clears throat> accuracy, completeness, relevance, validity, and time, which will come in the further slides. And also <clears throat> the importance of data quality. The more, the more good data a machine learning organizes, uh, algorithm has, the faster it can produce results and better those results will be. This is a thumb line for the importance of the data quality. As data management techniques and technology improve, data continues to become increasing important for businesses. So growing number of companies are using data to make decisions about marketing, products, development, finance, and more. So data quality is important because it ensures that the information used to make key business decisions, as I said earlier, and also it uh, if you base a decision on bad data, you're likely to make a wrong choice. So by tracking data quality, a business can pinpoint potential issues harming quality. And also bad data can have significant business consequences for the companies. Data is becoming increasingly integral to business operations rather than treating data as a separate from their other functions. Some of the today's most successful companies integrate it into everything they do. This increased integration between the data quality can impact many aspects of a business from marketing to sales to content creation. So uh, main dimensions of the data quality are to ensure high quality of data is collected, participants, I mean, should agree on data quality standards before embarking on a project. This will create uniformity throughout the analysis. The dimensions or the characteristics of the data quality are accuracy, consistency, completeness, uniqueness, validity, and timeliness. So usually uh, <clears throat> the accuracy in the sense, the data has to be accurate. <clears throat> the data which is collected should be uh, accurate and correct in every details. Like if you are collecting a name, uh, student ID or a name, the course, and uh, when you're doing an anal analysis, if you have a different students in different batch, so all the IDs and the names which you are collected, it has to be accurate. Uh, if the different uh, organ, uh, if the different companies are collecting the data, or different stakeholders are collecting the data, and it has to be consistent. Data need to be similar if collected in, diff if collected by the different teams. If different teams are collecting the data for doing some analysis the data has to be similar along with the teams. And it has to be completeness. Completeness in the sense, the filled data need to be completed. In the sense, uh, whatever the data you're filling, like name, address, email, mobile number, and uh, the ID. So this all has to be completed. If, for example, if you have not filled the ID detail, the ID, the ID column, if you kept it as a blank and you have filling the de detail of name and the mobile number, and another uh, team, if they are filling the ID and not completing the uh, name and the mobile number, this is incomplete data. So incomplete data uh, will lead to uh, taking wrong decisions. And also the uniqueness. Uniqueness is uh, one of the important, uh, is, it's also one of the important dimension of the data quality because the data has to be unique in the sense there should not be a duplicate data. For example, different teams have collected the data, like 100 records are collected by different teams, 100, 100, 100. Out of those 100, uh, 50 records are duplicate. In this case, uh, those 50 records which collected duplicate will not uh, serve any purpose and will not add value uh, uh, to the uh, analysis which we are doing. And also the validity, the data need to be valid. I mean, whatever the data you are collecting, it has to be valid. Uh, valid. And the timeliness, the data is uh, the data has to be up to date 
and it can be used for the real time reporting. So if the data is not collected on the time, and if it is not, uh, uh, if it is not, if all the data is not in hand on time, then it will delay the project and uh, it will give us the wrong uh, decisions. So these are the main dimensions of the data quality. Uh, we have a virtuous cycle of uh, uh, data quality management. <clears throat> So we have the, the virtual cycle of data quality management. Uh, the data analysis assessment will come with a monitor result of an improvement and then identify and uh, measure how poor the data quality impacts <clears throat> and then define. And then we will get, uh, then we have uh, uh, design quality and implementation quality improvement and cleanliness and enhanced data. So usually uh, identify and uh, measure quality. This is a, a first uh, key step uh, as the ability to understand the upfront level of data quality uh, will form the foundation of the business rules and processes that will be put in place. And then we have uh, defined a data quality rules and targets, which is once the initial data quality assessment is complete, the second part of the analysis phase involves scorecarding the results in order to put success criteria and metrics in place for the data quality management. And then we have uh, uh, design quality improvement, which is this part. <clears throat> this phase involves the manipulation of the data to align with the established and the business rules. Examples of potential improvements includes standardization, removing noises, alignment of product attributes, measures or classification. Usually you will, uh, uh, you know, uh, you will filter the data here and then uh, implement a quality. So this was once the data uh, improved the methods and processes, once the data has been standardized, the second phase of the enhancement process involves the identification of duplicate data and taking action based upon the business rules that has been identified. Since data quality is an interactive process, the rules, are, the rules to identify and address duplicate data will continue to evolve with an organization and then uh, uh, we have cleans and enhanced data. Here, the data will be cleans and enhanced. And then the monitor uh, results of improvement methods against targets. So the ability to monitor the data quality process is critical as it provides the organization with a quick snapshot of the health of the data within the organization. Thorough analysis of the data quality scorecard results. Uh, a, gov a, a data governance committee will have the information need to confidential, make additional modification to the data. So here, the last topics which we covered like data uh, governance and all, this is one of the uh, data quality, uh, the data governance is one of the stakeholder for the data quality. So they will decide uh, which data need to be published and with data, they will go on the data usually based on the quality. So we have next the data quality stakeholders. So here the data quality stakeholders are the data owners, the governance and uh, uh, data governance team and IT team and data stewards. So usually, Uh, usually data governance team, uh, they <laughs> the work of this team is to establish process and protocols that should be implemented for high quality data, which is already covered by uh, one of our team member earlier on this topic. And then we have IT team. This team takes the responsibility of config, uh, configuring and managing the data storage tools within the organization. And we have data stewards. These are the employees spread across different departments within the organization who collect, analyze, and make evidence-based decisions on daily basis. And then we have data quality tools, uh, which is uh, in the market right now is most important tool is IDQ, which is Informatica data quality, uh, which allows creating functions for importing data into a uh, cleans library. And then we have Clyde Lingo, one of the tool, which most of the organization use. It is a data integrity and data cleaning solution uh, made specifically for Salesforce. So again, it's a cloud-based technology, which uh, earlier one of our uh, team member has covered on the Salesforce, uh, which you can uh, visit and uh, uh, view this presentation. It was one of, uh, it is, uh, it is, uh, uh, it has been covered in detail. And then uh, IBM InfoSphere, it is a quality tool offered a broad, uh, broad uh, at 
uh, approach to data management and cleansing. And then we have talent utilizing statistics and a graphical representation. Customers of talent data quality solutions can immediately identify and spot data abnormalities. So these are the tools which uh, for, which will be used. One of these are a few of the tools which will be used for the data quality. And then we have uh, conclusion. So the conclusion is data quality increases the accuracy of analytic analytics application which can lead to better decision making that boosts sales improves internal processes and gives organization a competitive edge over rivals and data quality is very important uh, which aims to provide data consumers with the best information for making decisions data consumers are the data analysts data engineers or data scientists they are they are the data consumers and also uh, uh, stakeholders and the business leaders and companies uh, able to avoid operational errors and business process breakdowns that can increase operating expenses and reduce the revenues. So by maintaining the data qualities, we can reduce the operating expenses, reduce the revenues. If we have a bad data collected, so the, the, the decisions which we will take, it will affect on the decisions and eventually it will affect the uh, stakeholders which is the business leaders, uh, the marketing uh, executives. So they may take the wrong decisions based on the uh, analysis which we have done. So if our data is, uh, if the data quality is not good, so the, uh, the decision will be uh, also not accurate and which will, which will lead the business decision makers to take wrong decisions. Uh, thank you for today. If you have any questions, you can ask.